this is Angela Wheeler with Southern Illinois Music Scene Live. We are here with El Hanora right before their big show at Cavern on 10th. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? I'm Sonny Snow, I'm the drummer for the band. Like Snow, guitarist. Matthew Dupish, bass. As the lead singer, I'm Jeff Watson. Thank you, Jeff. No <laughs> okay, so um, what are you guys' biggest influences? Like, why? what made you want to be a musician? We can start wherever. Um, to be honest, uh, I've always kind of wanted to be a drummer. I've kind of uh, used to always bang on things, you know. So I already had the drum rhythm and everything. And I already knew pretty much the basics to drumming. And, you know, I started going to Blake's house a lot more. And, you know, they decided to give me a drum set and try things out. And things turned out very great. And we continued from there. And things are getting better every concert. Uh... Before guitar, I used to be a lot into music. Um, fourth grade, took up trumpet in grade school. You know, got a lot of musical theory in that way. Um, went to a Van Halen concert back in 2004. My dad bought me a ticket. Just saw all the different things that you could do with, with a guitar, you know, instead of just setting up, you can bend the note. And I was amazed with all the different things you could do with the instrument. And picked up uh, my dad's left hand electric. Learned that way, and then, uh, Eighth grade graduation, they per my mom purchased me a right-handed oil P. Had to relearn and uh, in and out with different people, members, you know, trying to form a band. Finally found the right guys, and here I am. Well, I've always really been into music, but the getting into the instrument was my uncle. He had a 12 string, and I always wondered how he got all that, all that notes out of that guitar and just strings. He got me into it and I bought a guitar and just started. Then he asked me to play bass and never played a bass before but I learned. That day. <laughs> yeah, that day. I was born streaming so it came natural. And I've always been a huge KISS fan for a while and the drummer Eric Carr was actually a big influence on me. And to actually get out and perform is whenever I first started getting into the Rage Against the Machine and seeing the way they were live. So, we've got a little bit of this before, but around about how long do you think Elvinor has been together? Like, how, did you guys go to school together or? No, it's been about 14 and a half, 15 months. It's, it was around this time last year we had our first show here at T10. So actually, it was August 18th. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we have her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just saying. I just it's only a lot of So, do you have any big shows coming up soon? Like big name, anything? Good causes. I see you're all wearing pink tonight. You're with Relay for Life. Like How did that get minutes. started? Yeah. <laughs> After 30 minutes, do you um, have any new shows coming up? Oh, we got a. Is it the 28th? 28th of Big House? We're family. We don't need to know the date. The 28th of. Uh, it's 28th to 29th. I know how they got phone. It's on Sunday, Sunday night. Play at 8 p.m. Is that this? We really enjoy that month? place. It's nice. It's uh, in May. Is it May? Yeah, it's in May. May? Okay. May. Uh, I know July 16th we're playing Arena some County State Maybe. Fair Battle of Bands. That's the big one. The same people who did uh, Wired Audio for us at the Granada, they're going to be there again. So awesome. that's a big deal. For those of you who missed the Granada. Shame. <laughs> so, pink bandana, as you're with the Relay for Life tonight, are you're fighting breast cancer, I'm guessing? And is right. it all cancer? To my mom. <laughs> died a while back from breast cancer. So, you're definitely orientated around trying to help out the family. Yeah. El Hanora, where did that originate from? Did you just pull that out of the air, or did you have a hat? Or? Well, way before these two, um, <laughs> me and Sonny kind of just jammed out at you know, the house mm -hmm. had future views, you know, hopefully someday we get banned and play places. We had some fights and <laughs> <laughs> we 
Don't tell me. I have, well, also, I have no idea how the name actually came across. Um, me and you were just looking for it was just names. Yeah, it was just on the internet, and I saw this website. I think it was called like Hebrew for Christians or something like that. Scroll down through all the different, it had like demonstrations of how you pronounce the word, you know, like it was teaching you. Came down and I seen the last one and I clicked on the little, you know, play the audio of it and it said the name. I'm like, it's got a nice little ring to it, it's different. I haven't heard anything like that, so let's just kind of stick with it. Maybe we'll come up with something some other kind of. After that, we've been trying to change the name, trying to see if we can't come up with something else. and. Nothing. It just nothing sticks as well no, as El Panora. No. Yep. So you said it's Hebrew. What does it mean? Not Spanish. <laughs> it, Spanish. it means awesome God. It's Hebrew for awesome God. It makes an awesome job. Like that's not <laughs> awesome <laughs> job. Good. We're awesome. Well, I guess we can say that too because we do do an awesome job. You do. You are a great band. The awesome God. And you're all very young too. You haven't been at this for as long as some of the other guys that are playing. I'm the oldest yeah. one in a band of 20. Just because we're young don't mean we're, yeah. Exactly, because power for us teenagers. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no, we're not big yeah. at all. We just He's we enjoy it. We like to jump around. Big time. We enjoy and it. We love every bit of it. Please, I know you guys have originals. Do you have some under the works? Do you have a CD coming out? Um, Do you have recording? Actually, Rick Reed, that was after Granada, he plugged into the main system and he got some audio. So we're uh, hoping once he gets it all, you know, leveled out and stuff, that we'll be able to, you know, get a CD of that and cut out our actual originals that we played that night on the demo disc, and hopefully we can send that in to some studios and actually get a really good demo. Get a recording. So we do have some rough drafts, but you know, those have been from a while back. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't judge us unless you actually come to a show. It just, so. That is definitely a definite for everything. And if you think about booking us and you don't know if you should, you definitely should because, you know, it's, it's yes. definitely worth it. Like, yeah, like I said, we're not big headed and we're not looking to make big bucks. It's our passion. We love it. <laughs> music is awesome and Mount Vernon needs it. So. Everywhere needs music, but Mount Vernon is definitely drying up. <laughs> I think it's getting a little better, you know, as we get along, but... I totally take credit for helping with that. <laughs> helping bring the music back. That's oh, what we're yeah, all about. Definitely. Roger and Angela, you guys. Kick, kick ass. Seriously. Well. well. Do you guys have any last words? I hope words? that all of you that has not seen us will see us sometime soon. Or at least in the future. <laughs> So support support local music. You know, it, it's it's not it's more than just standing up on stage and just performing, which is the fun part. You know, other than that, we're, it's it's a never-ending road. You're continually upgrading, buying stuff, and you know, the more people that show up to the show, it shows more support. So show support to your local band. Come to the show. Check us out on Facebook, MySpace, or Reverb Nation. That is one thing we should probably add. You do have websites. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see us on Facebook. We're on Fa if you want to be on a one-on-one -on -one contact with us, be on Facebook. We have uh, our regular official site, and we have a fan page in our buttons. And dates we play, we post them on there all the time, so can't miss it. And if you plan on attending to a show, please, please RSVP. It we really know how many is attending. Yeah, the numbers help. And then if you, you've got music on your MySpace. Yes, those are rough draft demos that are, they're okay, you know, we did ourselves in a basement. It gives you an idea, so. Uh, the basement yeah. of a church. On YouTube, uh, we have all recordings done by Southern Illinois Music Scene, and uh, I think that's about it, Southern Illinois Music Scene that's on there. We have a good variety of everything in place. So. Yeah, I definitely attached to you guys from the first show. <laughs> I was like, I must record. Okay. Something's so, drawing me near. I must. Right. For sure. Alright, so you guys nice ready for the show? In. Awesome. So, signing off. Rock on.